On July 28, 2022, an Indian Air Force MiG-21 trainer aircraft crashed in the desert of Wester Rajasthan State near the city of Barmer. It resulted in loss of life of two pilots. Local media footage showed flaming wreckage spread over a large area. This was the sixth MiG-21 aircraft to have gone down since January 2021 killing in total five pilots. The twin-seater MiG-21 trainer aircraft of the IAF was airborne for a training when around 9 p.m. it met with an accident. The MiG-21 is a Soviet-era single-engine multirole fighter aircraft that once formed the backbone of the IAF fleet. These jets first entered Indian service in the 1960s. The aircraft has a poor safety record and is expected to be withdrawn from service in future. Numerous crashes in the past few decades, however, have led to the planes being dubbed flying coffins because of their poor safety record. India is investing billions of dollars in modernizing its air force, an initiative motivated by its decades-old rivalry with Pakistan and increased tensions with China. Its military has bought dozens of French Rafale fighter jets, with deliveries starting in 2020. Family of deceased pilot urged Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Defence Minister Rajnath Singh to immediately retire the entire fleet of aging MiG-21 jets so that no more young lives are lost. He said their son joined the Air Force to fight enemies and not die in a crash. Earlier, family of one of the deceased pilot who died in MiG-21 crash faced shocking experience on plane while going to receive his body. As they landed the captain requested everyone to remain seated to allow for the Ball family to disembark quickly. However, everyone in row 1 and 2 disregarded the announcement and queued up. Few passengers had to scream at the top of their voices to make them sit down and allow the Ball family to pass. It was absolutely shocking to see one's fellow country men and women behave in this tone-deaf, selfish manner. Is that the reality of our respect for sacrifice? One of Ball family member asked. Defense minister has ordered inquiry of the event and shared his grief over the loss of lives.